talked about this guy last week and if you have been watching my watch alongs if you've been you know just watching my content as of lately you know i think very highly of richard rios i think this guy is a baller i was very impressed with him at copa america he was arguably one of the best midfielders in that tournament he was cooking for colombia he's more of a center mid that plays in a double pivot Right, so you could use him as an eight, right? I don't think he's a defensive-minded player so much, even though he can play deeper. I just don't think that you should have him as like a lone six or have him in a pivot where the player next to him isn't going to be taking up most of that uh, defensive responsibility. But point is, this guy looks like he has all the qualities to be a top top player. You guys remember when I was talking about him? I like midfielders like him. I think he can go and start for most of these elite clubs around Europe right now. He looks that good. Now, Manchester United are being linked with him. And they're saying that they might only have to bid $17 million to get this deal done. And I think Ineos are doing some great business. I mean, if you're a Manchester United fan, the last few weeks for you has been amazing. You got Joshua Zergzi done. You got Lenny Yoro. You're trying to get Ugarte. You're about to sign Delict. Now you're looking at Richard Rios, one of the best players from Copa America. Ineos are cooking. I tried to tell people that Manchester United this summer were going to be in for a big window. I called it. Everybody told me that I was crazy. Everybody said, oh, Man United don't have money. What the hell are you talking about, Manchester United don't have money? They're arguably the biggest club in the world. They generate maybe the most money out of any team in the world. They are loaded. And I knew Ineos were going to try to impress this first window because it's the first one with them being the owners of the club or the new owners that are coming in because the Glazers are still there. And when I got a guy like Rios, right? They don't need him technically because they have Kobe Mainu right him and Kobe Mainu are very similar in terms of the skill sets everything that you rate Mainu for is the things that you will rate Richard Rios for right so they do need more of a defensive minded midfielder there but if they're able to go sign right a Ugarte to be that DM and then they go out there and only spend let's say 17 to 20 million to bring in Richard Rios and he's more so a rotational squad player. That would be great business. I think this guy would cook at Arsenal. They need him. Next to Rice, Richard Rios would cook. I think at Man City, next to Rodri, would cook. I'm telling you, bro. This guy, he doesn't really have... So, again, I haven't watched a lot of him because he plays for Palmeiras in Brazil. And when I was doing research on Endrick, and then Esteval Willian, I saw a lot of people talking about Richard Rios. And I was looking up clips of him, and I was in problem. I'm like, yo, he looks good on the ball, right? He can pass it as well. He looks solid defensively. He's aggressive. He can progress with the ball. He can pick out a pass. I was like, okay, you know what? Eh, this guy don't look too bad. Then Copa America came, and we watched every Columbia game on stream. We, we did watch-alongs. Go back and look. The proof is there. And this guy balled out. And now I think because of how well he played in Copa, this is what's going to get him a move to Europe this summer. And I don't think it's just because of the tournament, right? Like, I don't think five games gets you a big move. No. Obviously, I think teams would have known about him from before. But now when you go out there and have a big tournament, and when you cook like that on a big stage, People are like, oh, shit, you know what? Let's accelerate this transfer. And if I was him, to be honest with you, Manchester United are a huge club. But I wouldn't go there because I don't trust Ten Hag. I don't trust this manager. I don't know what style of football he's going to implement because what we've saw from Manchester United the last two seasons has been nothing but shit. And as I said when I was talking about Jaden Sancho, technical players do not thrive at Manchester United. 
It's very rare. Look at all the ones that have come through. They struggle. They don't really get game time. The fans don't seem to rate them like that. The only one that's thriving at the moment is Kobe Mainu. But how long is that going to take or how long is that going to last until the fans start turning on him and blaming him for some of their bad performances? Like, I don't get it. Man United fans are weird, right? Like, they don't rate their really good players, but then they rate all the shit ones. Like, they rate Megan Rapino. They rate Marcus Rashford, right? They rate Bruno Fernandez, Scott McTomney. Like, it, it's actually crazy. But even though I think this would be a good signing for Manchester United, if I'm Rios, I'd be waiting to see what other offers come in. Trust me, I don't think that this is going to be the last time that we're talking about him getting linked to a big club. And I don't think he's going to only go for $17 million, right? Palmeiras are a team that have been doing some really great business lately. You guys saw them sell Estevan Willian to Chelsea. How much did that cost? What about Endrick to Real Madrid? Both deals cost over $30 million. They're not going to sell Rios, who's a, an important player for them, for only 17 M's. Can't see that deal happening. But I think maybe for about 25 to 30? Yeah. Because I think other clubs will come in for him. And there's a bunch of teams that I think could use him right now. Like, if I was Arsenal, I'd be all over this deal. I think him in a pivot next to Declan Rice would cook. Man City, you need another center mid to be next to Rodri. You want to keep relying on Kovacic? Matias Nunes? Richard Rios looks better than both of them. Who else? I'm drawing a blank here because there's just a lot of teams that I think, and I, you know, I, don't really, I didn't write any of this down, but as I said, and Copa was very impressed by him. Cooked. He's a big reason why Colombia made it to the final. And he played decent in that final as well. I don't really think Colombia played that well, um, but he was one of the better players um, for them against Argentina. And yeah, as I said, I think a big move is coming soon for this player. I called it on these watch ones. I said, yo, this guy, I, said, I think he goes to Europe this summer. There's no way that somebody does, doesn't come and snap him up. Manchester United are the biggest club that he's been linked to, right? Because before he's being linked to Leicester and Everton. But I just think I wouldn't want to play for Ten Hag. Like, that's my main thing because I just don't think that, he'll, that his skill set is going to allow him to thrive at Manchester United. That's why I kind of worry about Kobe Mainu because Kobe Mainu, even though he's looked really good, I don't think he's going to properly develop underneath Ten Hag. Right? You can't get the best out of Mainu if he's going to be chasing the ball for 60% of the game and then trying to kick it forward for counterattacks. That's not how you're going to get him to reach his full potential. So just the play style, I don't know, bro. Look at, again, Sancho, Pogba, freaking like Di Maria. Uh, who else, guys? Um, Amad Diallo couldn't even get a look until like recently. And I don't know, just technical players. Look, I think any of are going to try and change that, right? You bring in Omar Barada. He was that Man City. So I think they do want to see a different style of play. But until I actually see it on the field, I'm not going to trust that this manager is going to be able to do it. But again, if they're able to sign Richard Rios on um, a deal for about $20 million and he's more of a rotational piece, they'd cook. I'm, I'm telling you, like, that, like that'd be fantastic transfer business just to have him as a squad player, I think. Um, now, if they bring him in, and then they start him next to Kobe Mainu. I don't know if that's going to work too much um, because neither of them are that defensive minded, right? Even though Richard Rios can be like a DM sort of, but I, I think he needs somebody next to him that's going to kind of be able to do most of that legwork because his qualities are better on the ball. But yeah, I know what you guys think about Rios possibly going to Manchester United. I, I would have to give this a big W.